Hope you're doing well. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. Thanks a lot for just coming back to watch my videos. In case you're new here, guys, you're much welcome. Karibu sana. So in today's video, guys, I'll be showing you the best way on how to prepare healthy omena and also on how to remove the bad smell from the omena. Make sure you tune in, guys. Start preparing our omena. And the ingredients I'm going to use while preparing my omena here are they. A bunch of coriander, one onion, red onion that is, two tomatoes, roiko cube, and I have a lemon here, milk, salt, oil, and here the omena. So the very first thing I'll do, I'll start by sorting my omena. Guys, let's sort our omena. As I'm putting them inside the bowl. Always comes when it has a lot of darts. So guys, if you don't sort your mena well, you might end up cooking your mena with dust. So make sure when you're sorting them out, you saw them how to well. So people, can you please tell me, <laughs> I do hear that there's some people that they don't eat omena or rather daga. <laughs> they say the omena smells bad, that's why they don't take omena. Some say that they can't eat omena well. <laughs> their eyes looking at them so they prefer when they're eating omena when they're cooking omena they cut the head some say that when they cook omena it has a sour taste so guys today let me show you my simple and easy method on how to prepare omena for it to be very delicious so if I'm done Sorting out the omena. Here is the omena. So after this, guys, after we've sorted your omena, we take hot water, very hot water. I have some hot water over here already boiled. You pour to your omena. Using hot water to wash. To remove all the dust. Inside omena even on the the edge then i'm having some lemon over here i'll cut my lemon into two remove the seeds Then squeeze the lemon juice to this omena. So after that, I'll be squeezing the lemon juice to my omena. Make sure you squeeze all the juice from the lemon. After that guys, I'll be removing the seeds that has entered inside the bowl. So after that guys, I'll leave it for about 5 to 10 minutes. For all the dust that are inside, inside the omena to come out in this hot water that I've added lemon juice. So as we have been waiting for that we can prepare our ingredients
so guys i've already cut all the ingredients i'm going to use and also our mena over here is ready so i'll rinse i'll rinse it out from this water after you've removed the hot water make sure you rinse it again with cold water just a bit of cold water and make sure they they don't break so here it is i've already rinsed the omen is it okay to cut to cut the head of the omen is when you cook you cook your mena without their heads <laughs> some people do that but i don't prefer doing that you shouldn't cut your mena you cut their heads out then you throw the head then you cook the other part so here is the omena so i'll be shallow frying the omena since i don't want to i don't want the omena to be soggy also i don't want them to break so i'll just shallow fry with hot pan so here's the pan i'm going to use some oil inside the pan then lit my gas place the oil the heat to cook then i add my omena and guys let's add omena Guys, yeah, you can see the way it's clean. You can use when washing the omena when you don't have lemon juice, you can use vinegar, white vinegar. But with me, I prefer you use lemon juice because it's natural. You can even see the way the eggs are clean. <laughs> so let's shallow fry our omena. You can see they have not breathed. And they're very clean. That bad smell is no more in the omena. So guys, our omena is ready. So we will remove it from it. Take another clean pan, add oil, just a bit of oil. This one you're going to use to cook your onions and your tomatoes. Then you leave it for two minutes to cook. Then after that, I'll be adding my onions. Then I'll cook my onions until they turn golden brown. So guys, as you can see, the onions have turned into golden brown. So I'll be adding my tomatoes. Then leave, leave the tomatoes also to cook. So guys, after the tomatoes are cooked, I'll add Reiko cube. Then I mix them well, then I add salt. that I'll add my omena or daga which is then I add my coriander so guys as you can see it looks so delicious it has a nice aroma, <laughs> although people always say that omena smells so bad. So after this, guys, my dry fry omena is ready. I'll serve it. So here it is. This one is the dry fry. So let's do the wet fry, guys. The same pan I used, 
I'll take milk. I'm having here one glass of milk. I'll be adding, depending to the size of the omena I have. So after adding the milk in the pan, I'll leave it to boil. As you can see, after the milk has boiled, I'll be adding my omena. Yeah. I'll leave it to simmer after reducing my gas for about four minutes. So guys, the wet fry of mine is also ready. You can see it. Looks so delicious. So let's serve. So guys, here is my final product. Dry fry omena. Wet fry omena. How do you see? Let me know. Let me know in the comment section, guys. Let me know the reason why you guys don't eat omena. <laughs> guys that was for today let me know in the comment section what you think about the method i used also let me know the reason why some people don't take omena i hear that some don't eat omena because of the smell if you've not subscribed guys make sure to subscribe give the video a thumbs up bye for now guys love you all bye